Hey, uh, guys, a year ago, I was able to uh, put out George Washington's Secret Six, and a lot of people uh, thought that was great to find out we had a spy network back then. But then we had a chance to look at uh, Thomas Jefferson, the Tripoli Pirates. It was our first battle against Islamic extremists when George Bush came out and said, we got to take on bin Laden, this, this radical Islam. People thought, wow, this is the first time. Well, it turns out Thomas Jefferson was the first one to actually take on these terrorists. Here's how it happened. Here's what he did, and here's what we can learn from it. The year 1785. The United States of America was the world's newest nation. No president, no constitution, but buried in war debt. And it already had its first enemy off the coast of North Africa Islamic radical pirates. Pirates from four Islamic nations Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli. Without a navy for protection, our merchants were helpless and vulnerable at sea. These terrorists captured our ships, plundered our cargo, and turned the crews into their slaves. American ships, well, they were easy targets, creating a crisis that put our economy on the verge of collapse. Congress tasked two future presidents to come up with a deal, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. They met with the Tripoli ambassador face to face. The ambassador was uncompromising and demanded money just for passage. According to the Koran, it was their God-given right. Both Adams and Jefferson left the meeting shaken. They didn't have a deal on the prisoners, and they didn't have a deal on safe passage for our merchant ships. Back in the United States, they waited for a recommendation, and that's where Adams and Jefferson split. Adams said, we can't fight them unless we want to fight them forever. For Jefferson, he says you can't pay for peace. He sensed that the attacks would start and the price would only go up. In this case, Jefferson was 100% correct. The United States caved to the pirates, borrowing money that would cost them up to 20% of the entire national budget. Yet somehow, the attacks continued. When George Washington took office, he would continue to make the payments, but he would also commission the building of six ships, including this very one, the USS Constitution. What were they like? Well, they had copper bottoms, they had solid oak sides, they were fast, they were strong, and they were built to fight. The training at sea would get intense, and it wouldn't be long before the confrontation would begin. The American forces were brave and brash, like Marine legend Presley O'Bannon, the Army's General William Eaton, and the Navy's Captain Edward Preble. But none as impressive as Commodore Stephen Decatur. Commanding the crew of the gunship Enterprise, he led the charge against the pirates, harassing their ships, even blew up an American ship, the USS Philadelphia, that the pirates once claimed as theirs. Jefferson knew diplomacy would be tried, but ultimately he knew you had to use force, and Decatur was the guy to get it done. So successful was Decatur in both 1805 as well as 1815 that soon after, Britain, Sweden, France, and Spain would do the same exact thing. And America, not yet 40 years old, was already showing the rest of the world the way to confront terror through strength brings peace. And that's what we uh, put in the afterward. Yeah, Stephen Decatur got a house for being such a hero. He's diagonal across from the White House. If he didn't get shot in a duel, who didn't? Uh, he probably would have been president. And Decatur, Georgia is named after him. Yeah, and Stephen Decatur School and all this stuff. He's one of these legends nobody knows about in America, or very few. So that's when the afterward. Hey, I'm going to be in Tulsa this Friday talking about it. Uh, then I'm going to be in Atlanta, Georgia at Barnes & Noble. And then on November 11th, uh, I think that is going to be in uh, the Orlando area. And then I'll be at somewhere at the villages shortly. All Fantastic. Right. Telling the story. A lot yeah. of people don't know it. American history I went on, to life. I went on Amazon this morning and I bought your book. I would have And it's a bestseller. I, I know you wouldn't I give it to me, but I want to support my friends. Right. I'm really proud of you. We both okay, I'm going on during the commercial. Got to do it. All right. All right.